It must be here any minute now. Any minute, any minute. He said to no one in particular. The room behind him was empty and the screen of the couple 3000 was dark as Nora on her end had fallen asleep. The procedure they had before, he had been told that it was not painful, but he had seen the fear in his partner's eyes as the robot did their job to get an egg out of her body and put it into the artificial womb. He was glad that her lover Laura had been with her and made the experience less scary. He still hoped, wished, he could have been there. But to be honest, if he could, if he were there, there wouldn't have been any need for this. No need for the couple 3000 and the screen. No need um, for the drone that would bring the precious cargo with it. But it was just their luck. Their luck to fall in love from afar and love over the net with no chance to ever weather the waters and actually meet. They didn't have the funds for it. He could have, he literally heard the storm rage around the house earlier. And there he was at the window, water glistening between the houses. There's just no way, no way for them to ever meet. But it happened. They had fallen in love. By now they had signed the partnership agreement and in many, many conversations overnight they had talked it over. They wanted a kid. Her place was really, really small, um, as every Londoner will, will know and understand. And yeah, she had Lara and she had a couple of friends here, but his place was massive and his parents lived just next door and they were utterly, utterly delighted to help out, so they decided that he would be the one to raise the kid. So they had paid the extra amount for the womb, not only the drone, but also um, that. And now a tiny piece of her was on its way to him. He turned away from the window and looked at the screen again. The flashing red light showed him that her heartbeat had calmed down and apparently all on her end was quiet and nothing stirred as she had fallen asleep. So the screen had gone into sleep mood as well. Nothing showed the hectic of the procedure before, which still had been lovely. She had asked him to retell the story that she had been told about her grandmother. It was a lovely story. It was a story of a picnic, a summer's evening, a blanket, rays of sunshine, and two bodies intertwined. He was still very happy that he never get, got to know her grandmother because he found the story a bit awkward. But so did she, and in a lovely way. She, it always made her ears go a bit red. And it made her laugh. And he had heard that little laugh just before, during the procedure, to relieve her tension as the robots did their job. So much that could still go wrong. The drone could not make it, it could take too long, it could have been too warm, too cold. And then, of course, they had done all the tests, but what if it just didn't work out, if nature did not find its way? If the two of them were not compatible? And what if he could not do his part. I mean, the, the womb was not the most enticing thing to begin with, and he was scared. While he looked over the water that glistened between the towers, he thought about what would happen if it all worked out. The womb that needed constant care and feeding, and then if it worked out, the baby, the baby that she would never have, that she would never hold. But they talked about it a lot and they had decided together what she wanted, what she wanted to be part of, what she wanted to do, what she wanted to be able to do. Lots of nights spent in front of the screens talking, sometimes with others joining, sometimes just the two of them, laughing, joking, switching between fun and seriousness very easily. 
It was easy with her. He knew that he, no, that they would do it. They basically knew each other as well as two people who had never met in real life could know each other. And there was the notification, the notification that the drone would be there soon. He opened the window and soon he heard the flutter of the rotors. And with a sigh of relief, he saw the green light that showed him that so far everything had gone okay. While he was standing there, he heard the screen jump into action and a very sleepy voice said, is it there? He nodded frantically as he opened the window, hauled the drone in, and while he rolled the wheelchair to the bed, prepared in front of the couple 3000 for the second night, for the second part of the procedure. Thank you.